What's this? Unfortunately, we all know. It's the COVID center. We are used to thinking of viruses as danger, but it's good to know your enemy. Viruses, except for their biological nature, have their physical chemical side, and knowing it helps us fight them. Biological effects of viruses are well documented. But what is less known is the way in which a virus overtakes its host cell metabolism. This mechanism is the subject of biothermodynamics. Laying at the intersection of biology, physics, chemistry, and engineering, biothermodynamics studies energy flows in living organisms. It is a relatively new discipline offering many opportunities, since this aspect of life is still a mystery. Let me introduce the course Biothermodynamics, Bridging Life, Natural, and Engineering Sciences. The Biothermodynamics course comprises a micro-credential, giving students from various disciplines insight into physical mechanisms of biological phenomena. The course is offered to master, as well as PhD and senior bachelor students in a wide range of life science, natural science, and engineering disciplines including biology, agriculture, forestry, soil science, chemistry, biochemistry, food science, physics, biotechnology, as well as chemical, biochemical, and other branches of engineering. The subject is taught from scratch, making it accessible to students with different backgrounds, but also offering more advanced topics to those with pre-knowledge. The focus will be on biological interpretations and practical use rather than on mathematical rigor. The course gives life science students a quantitative physical perspective and allows natural science and engineering students to apply their knowledge to life phenomena. A part of the course will be science communication. Students will write an essay and make a short video on a biothermodynamic topic. The videos will be graded by students from other universities and lecturers. Thus, students will be able to communicate scientific concepts and findings, as well as to understand the perspective of colleagues with different scientific and cultural backgrounds. Here are some of the many applications of biothermodynamics. Microorganisms require a driving force to multiply, both in nature and in bioreactors. The driving force and the multiplication rate can be determined using biothermodynamics. A quantitative approach is key to understanding and enhancing photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is an energy conversion process providing the driving force for plant growth studying which is the domain of biothermodynamics. Moreover, calorimetry is an important part of soil research. Systems biology and omics are fields under intense research. However, analysis of complex metabolic networks usually gives multiple results. The physically feasible ones are shown by the second law of thermodynamics. One of the most important questions in astrobiology is the origin of life. Life originated in the primordial soup in a chemical process. For a chemical process to be feasible, it must obey the laws of thermodynamics. Thus, biothermodynamic requirements are key criteria for designing and evaluating theories on the origin of life. Giving quantitative insight into biological processes, the course introduces a multidisciplinary approach to students from various fields. If you choose the course, you will be able to gain a mechanistic perspective of biological systems, describe and predict the outcome of biological processes using simple equations, design and perform calorimetric experiments in life sciences, use the quantitative framework of thermodynamics to solve problems in life sciences. 
Biothermodynamics, Bridging Life, Natural and Engineering Sciences, taught by Dr. Marko Popovic, Technical University of Munich, Professor Mirjana Minčeva, Head of the Professorship of Biothermodynamics at Technical University of Munich, Professor Urs von Stockar, who has been a protagonist in the field for the last 50 years. See you in class.